Yeah. Hello everyone, this is Take from Becky at Taco.com and I'm here with Gary. Hi guys. How's nice, it going? How's it going? Nice, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. We're on the rooftop like we did in the documentary and uh, finally, the RF70 is getting very close to production. Yes, finally, finally. Finally. Yeah, this is a really uh, close, um, really close to the production um, model. And, and my name, my name is, I, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but, but my name is on top. Look at that, check it out. So thank you so much for allowing me to introduce the RF70 in the documentary. It was late prototype, but still, we kind of let the cat out of the bag a bit early, didn't we? Uh, a little bit. That's a, that a good thing. It, it, a good thing? it ended up good in the end. Oh, yeah. very good. Excellent. Um, also, uh, we have Joyce. We're using Gary's camera girl now. So, Joyce is. So, thank you, jo Joyce, for keeping an eye on the camera for us. And um, she will be our model a little bit later on. But I thought. We had a lot of questions about the, the RF70. So let's maybe go over the, and of course we have the original SX70 yeah, LAN camera. The king of Polaroids. Is yeah. that, is that, how do you feel about this camera? This camera, definitely uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, the king of Polaroids. Yeah. And it, 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 we won't be able to make anything better than that in at least 50 years. You, you really think so, eh? Yeah, I really think so. Yeah, it, it was uh, Edwin Land's uh, work of genius. Yeah, so it's like Oscar Barnack, Ed, Edwin Land and then like Steve Jobs. <laughs> is, that, is that kind of the, or the ordering? Yeah. And then, then Gary Ho. Oh, no, no. I, <laughs> so, so let's go over um, maybe the top 10 things, or uh -huh. we, I won't even count. Let's just go over the sort of the things that you want to talk about about this uh, the Instant Con RF70. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Number one. Right now? Let's, let's do it right now, <laughs> yeah. The top 10 things? Top 10 things. Well, how about one of the things is the way it opens. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, the first thing, of course, is the size of the camera. Maybe you want to um, close that down. Where's the, where's the, here we go. There you go. Yes. It's almost the same size as the SX-70. It folds very flat. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. And considering that the size of the film for the SX-70 is actually even smaller than the Instax wide. Instax wide, yeah. I think this is definitely something we're very proud of. Mm. Yeah, making it uh, super small. Excellent. So that's number one. Number one. Number two. Number the way, two. The way it opens, actually, I kind of like that. Yeah, the way it opens, it's uh, it's it's quite similar to the way uh, the SX70 opens. It's got a well. First of all, it's got this um, a really really nice bellows here. Yes. Yeah. It, it, so in order to make this camera uh, flat, it's got to be foldable and it's got to be easy to fold. So that's uh, number two, I would say, for this camera. Number two. For me, number three will probably be the fact that it's all manual control, like if you want to. Yeah, that should be number 10, no, I'm <laughs> of course, of course, number three. Yes. Number three is the manual controls. It's not only, have, it doesn't only have, um, you know, of course, aperture control over yes. here, you got f5.6 to f22 and half stops. Yeah, and it's also got uh, manual shutter speeds. Yes. Over there, and a manual like uh, film ejection mechanism kind of. So can you do multiple exposure with this then? Yeah, of course, and it's intuitive because you only it, it, you don't you don't see any uh, multiple exposure uh, buttons on this camera. We try to make it as simple as possible. It's actually only, ha it only got, has one button over here. So, so if you want to do ma uh, multiple exposures, just press, click this, and then eject the film. And it ejects, comes out that way, yeah. as you saw in the documentary. Uh -huh. Very good. That's probably like, we just went to like three, three four. four, five, six. <laughs> um, also manual focus. Manual focus, yeah, definitely. Manual focus and a range finder over here. So you have two windows, one, so it's almost like the Oscar Barnack, the original, the Leica, where one window is to focus and the other window is to frame. Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of fun, actually. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, so that's number... Uh, six, five... Let's go on let's to number start, six. Let's just start making up stuff. Number six. Number six. It's got a built-in flash over here. Nice. And a lot of people have also asked me um, if they can uh, sync this to an external flash. It's got a PC sync port over there. And of course, a tripod under there. Nice. Yeah. If nice. you want to like uh, do studio shots, these, this, and this would definitely come in handy. Excellent. Um, with flash, 
you actually do give it is rear curtain flash yeah you can choose from rear curtain flash yeah there's like a r r r yeah. flash yeah. uh 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 icon over there yes and if you want to do like a front is it called front curtain? Flash? I guess so, yeah. It's yeah. just a front curtain. Front curtain, then just, just go auto. to auto. And the camera will, if you pop it up, it will automatically just go off every time or when it needs it. Uh, basically, every time except if you go to F22, we, we, oh. we stop, we limit it at F22. Yeah, it makes sense because you're probably only getting like two feet, one feet of flash anyways. Because it's the yeah. guide number around six or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, at yeah. F5.6 with ISO 800 film. Uh-huh. Yeah. And if you use like a manual shutter speeds the flash also goes off oh very good yeah so that's a big plus i like it uh what are we at number seven number seven number seven number seven number seven uh there's there, there's so much i've got well one of the things i like some people might like this but i like it is you did the vintage vertical carry oh yes which, which yes. makes more sense because if you um, have the strap and it's folded in, it's more compact carrying it this way. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, yeah, it is. You just uh, carry around your neck, you just, or, yeah. or, 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 or like that if yeah, you want. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And then when it, and also, uh, how, how does the strap work on this? Where's the... Oh, yeah, it's for some models, uh, they don't have the uh, neck strap eyelet. But the, one, the, the, the ones that did have the lugs, it was for vertical though, wasn't it? It carried this way. Yeah, yeah it carried right? that way. And the Leica M5 carried this way, which a lot of people didn't like, and they put a third lug there, or a little eyelet there. Uh -huh. But I like that. I think it's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, it actually will give kind of fun um, case options. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. The num number eight. Number eight. So uh, a lot of people have asked me what, what lens is this, this has. Uh, it's got a glass lens. Uh, three elements yes yeah um uh so it takes a really nice pictures yeah which i think big attack will show you later on i i i will test it but so the front element is glass the other two are spherical yep. mold, molded plastic yep, but yep. the primary front element is glass yeah it's a hybrid like a glass and plastic yeah so yeah. so those of you asking there you go that's that's what it is number eight Eight. Oh man, I, I don't even know where we are. Sure, let's let's pick number eight. Okay, number eight. You know, if you look at this uh, shutter button over here, um, it's kind of like um, electronic. So, what what you do here is you um, double click, and you get special functions. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah, that's it's, very that's very Batmobile of you. Yeah, it's like uh, inspired by the uh, home button over oh, here. Yeah, nice. so you can do uh, double clicks. You can do um, long presses, but. Uh, you, you, you can play with it once you get one. Oh, okay, so you yeah. won't even tell us what it does yet. Yeah, it's, it's special, it's a yeah, secret. It's kind of difficult to uh, explain okay. in the video. And right. if you have one of those... Um, the threaded shutter release yeah, cables. The, yeah, it, it fits with the shutter Oh, that's shutter right. Releases. Or you can put on a, just a soft uh, shutter release. Yeah, and definitely, you, yeah. yeah. really hipster. It's got a half press and a full press. Oh, it yeah, does, yeah, eh? Yeah, oh, yeah. excellent, excellent. Yeah, so we're really proud of that. Nice, yeah. nice. Okay, it's number nine. Number nine. Joyce, are you even keeping count? We have no idea. Okay, number nine. Um, it's got a metal frame over here. Yeah, that's actually very nice. Yeah, metal frame. It's got to be metal, so it, it, it holds. A, it, you want this to be like really firm. You want a proper 90 degree angle, like you want it to come out. Because any little side angle, now you're getting like a tilt shift kind of effect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's number nine, I guess. And number 10. Number 10. Last but not least, uh, it's got a uh, LCD display over here. Which is really nice. And it's got a LED LED display here over there. It, it, it tells you if it, it's overexposing, underexposing. Oh, nice. Yep. So you just half press and there's your The little bit. light will tell yeah, you. Yeah. And then with there, you see how many frames are left in your uh -huh. Instax wide 10 shot pack. Yeah, and it also tells you what any filter you should be using. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. There. I like it. The top, there we go. We, we made it to number 10. Yeah, we, we improvised. We improvised a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So, so Gary, those of you, those that want to know more information, is there some way before, like this will be released soon. And depending on when people are watching this, this may already be out. But if they want information right away, where can they go to? Okay, so um, I, I bet this video will probably be uploaded on YouTube or Instagram. YouTube. I, yeah, YouTube. If, if YouTube, check out the link below. Yeah, and uh, you, you, you have to enter your email address and then uh, you go into the page, you'll see uh, a lot more information about this camera and probably maybe a pre-order button. Maybe pre-order sure. button, yeah. we'll see. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to shoot with it and uh, thank you so much for, for talking 
and I'm sure you guys are all excited too. Let's, let's switch. Let's, let's yeah. switch. There we go. Because this does this does have my name on it. Okay. There we go. So and see, it's easier to open than an SX70. It's easier to open the SX70. That's one yeah. up on on Gary instead of Mr. Mr. Land. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Mr. Land. No disrespect. So let's okay. finish with the click click, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you again, Gary. Okay, thank you. And thank you again. Joyce for being camera girl for us. Although we don't need to call her camera girl, we know her name. Yes, yes Joyce. Joyce. Yeah. Thank you, Joyce. Yeah. And okay. so we'll talk to you soon. And oh, what's in here? Ready? And one, two, two, three. All right. Peace. Peace. Yeah. <laughs>